If you've been charged with an assault offense in the state of Arizona, the first thing to do is not to speak to anyone about that case, and the second thing to do is call my office. The most common misperception with an assault case is that a defendant has to physically hurt a victim in a case. They do not have to hurt a victim. They merely have to put the victim in the apprehension of some type of bodily harm. In most cases that involve assault or domestic violence, the victim is never harmed, yet they charge the case anyway. If an assault causes any type of physical bodily injury, it immediately becomes a felony offense. Physical bodily harm is more than just being scared, and physically bodily harm is more than simply being grabbed. Physically bodily harm has to be proven beyond a reasonable doubt by the prosecutor's office, and yet they will charge a defendant with assaultive behavior without any type of injury whatsoever. Most often in an assault case that involves domestic violence, the first question I ask a defendant is, is your husband, is your girlfriend, is your child, or is your parent willing to come to court and testify on the record that you've hurt them? Nine times out of ten, they are not. And nine times out of ten, if there was no violence, if there was no one hurt, you will be acquitted of the crime of assault.